Chapter 6 Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find a certain, a certain prisoner scheduled for tomorrow. Why should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Because you're going to get a quid pro quo. I thought we just had this conversation. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Ah, forget about that or that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun. Lynn probably doesn't even know you exist. Those detectives will probably yell at you for your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get out. Get what you can out of it. Mister? Would you mind leaving me alone? On how the detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still... It's been like a second, buddy. Bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her. The chicken kitchen. <gasps> if anyone ever wants to do a Final Destination tie-in computer game. I've got a... Have I got a, a system for you? Well, you can't see me. I'm... Hang on. I should turn this back on, shouldn't I? Um... After I take care of this assignment, I better head there too. Uh, yes. So, now uh, the preparations coming along. I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man. Not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was just me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Atmosphere. Sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. Yeah, I know, this just happened. I know, I know, obviously, it's... You're supposed to turn the game off, do something else, and come back. Uh, I'm not going to read this flashback. We, were, we, we just read this. Actually, I guess if I put this out on the internet in the future, um, then technically, you know, it might be a different video. But whatever. Uh, just go watch the other video. <laughs> All right, then. How do I get into these cells? Better try and get some information here first. It's trick time. Now I can... Screen show rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small and you can't see right into them from the outside. I suppose the bars uh, open... The open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. Barely. Try putting up your memos a little better luck next time. Let me see this inspection. Prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about it. The Metro Police Department siege case. Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. What the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused and thought for a while and said, 
Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice? That's it? Fortunately, no. After he was done eating, he touched the commissioner's office. The flame flamethrower touched, touched it for good. Important documents and the commissioner's moustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Ah, huh? it was too spicy and he just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. It doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did the huge armed guy make all his way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why doesn't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Ah! There you go again, fooling around with that thing. What's he doing? It wasn't me. Don't lie. I know you love to jump. See me jump and prepare for emergency. Oh yeah. Went back when I first got this job. I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Yeah. Ah! The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. But it's for emergencies, don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Hope I made see procedures are a pain to you. What a sad, sad state of affairs. Didn't these guys have accents? Shut up. <laughs> Barely. I can't examine it, but... What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, maybe he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C-38, eh? What did that punk do, anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret was where? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing in a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, uh, it was even worse than a murder because it had something to do with national secrets. Ah! Uh, National Secrets, a rock band, I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyric C-38 was singing was completely different from usual. How is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, see me? See me secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. It doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. Well, why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Ah! Quit finding the okay. Right, but he puts it back up.
It's just kind of excitement no need to wake up. Well, I told you, it's only for emergencies. Don't play with it. I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be more, more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job, going on rounds or building a house of cards. Well, you better know. You ought to know that. I'm just kidding. Ah. Okay, but he has to sit down before I'm allowed to move again. No, no. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to wait for him to finish his house of cards. Don't undo it this time, John. Can't get across the room otherwise. Hmm, maybe the answer does not lie in this room. Let me skip the cutscene, I've seen it. customers declaring their love for chicken tonight. They're singing coming from the kitchen. Okay, same thing. Let me skip it, I've seen it before. Even if, as I sit here, time is ticking away, I wonder what he's feeling right now. But he hates me. Ah! Oh, if only I could blow up and scatter into a million pieces. I ought to be thinking of more peaceful images. Flap. Sure, I'm missing something obvious. Sorry, I didn't need to click on this. It, it literally skipped it and I clicked it again. I was like, oh, I can skip things. No, just don't click on them. Oh, 
I thought I might have a clue on to what I'm supposed to do. side. Trying to click, click, click faster, click faster. Not helping. It's probably a fast forward button. Perhaps I should research that. involves an entire conversation as well. Then I don't know what to do. Hang on, that was new. The, uh, the chef is preparing them right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah. Ugh. This was silly. What do you have to do? Well, you've got to do the memos. How many? Three. How many of them? you got to wait for him to do three. Then it moves on. Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just... Uh, well, in my case, I had to do it five times. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that? Of all people, motive, everything is all complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this is the case of ma national matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of this makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he was thinking? Hide behind that beard of his. Oh, I miss my beard. Don't like it anyway. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the person I'm looking for is now D99 was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. It's vitally important information. If the answers to keep doing memos are going to get good, it's time. <gasps> Thank goodness. Why 
How did they let him have his guitar in prison? Oh, he's finished this thing. Yeah, it's done. Your info's been added. I'll read it later. Why did this camera wasn't here before? Guessing this kid was the kid they were talking about. The one who sang National Secrets. If he's the prisoner, he must have some of the... He must have come from the cells. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. Guess it's a way for the spiky head youth to express himself. Sentiments like I'm hungry or thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. He just expressed government secrets. You heard that piece out. I'm done. All right, C-38. Back to your cell. Hey, God, man. How about give me some little space? Crazy walk of yours, dangerous man. A proper walk for a properly led life? Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. He looks young, sounds young. Find him. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? Damn! Don't think I could take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like the guard man is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this will finally do it. Hmm. <coughs> Come on, sausage head. Prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. I better check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. What is this? Oh, I didn't have that on the screen. Um, I mean, you saw what I was jumping around on. So this is one of the little... Oh, no. I had one again. Little backboards Lynn mentioned. Just give me a... Let me give it... Give it... It's giving, it's, it's giving a little, little, little read. That's what we're going to do. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But here's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read. I can't... I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I've obviously no idea what it means. If I can, can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what will I do now? Am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry too much about that one. Anyway, 
I might as well try and find a D99 cell. Hopefully I'll, I'll at least be able to find something while I'm there. I certainly can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't actually have hands. Okay. Looks like an internal line only. Doesn't call outside the prison, so the only places I can go with the telephone are the other phones within the building I've already possessed. Hmm, an emergency button. Emergency in a prison. It's gonna be a pretty bad situation. I'll give it a little try. Note papers hanging on the wall. The one there's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. You know what? I thought they'd turn off the alarm. I want him to throw that in the toilet, don't I? What's it with you all of a sudden? What do you think of my quirky behaviour? Surprised? Huh? You seem bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. And call that my gotcha move. What do you think? If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. But this is you we're talking about. Ah, uh, okay. Ah! How can you be so insensitive? I was only trying to open up the communication between us. I thought, do you obey me? Hmm. I shall return. What I want is go put the alarm on and then quickly go to the piece of paper before he tears it up. But I don't think that'll work. Because he does it, it. Oh, hang on, maybe it does. This one? Oh, no mind, it did work.
Fair enough, it's a pretty good system. How the hell did you figure out any of that? Give me a second. Right, I guess locking up all the people that have super special insider knowledge might not be the best idea in the world, like putting them all together. New info's been added. By the looks of him, this must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that, where did he just come from? What is going on with this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe, maybe I better check out the curry's lover's schedule for tomorrow too. Still can't read, but I better go check out the 99 cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what the prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. I don't know if the... Oh, because it's going to do... It was about to do something.
He's doing pretty good. Something here. Looks like it's just an internal phone line too. Just a call outside. The only places I can go with the telephone are the other phones within the building I've already possessed. Yes, but that's... Looks like the curry lover comes back when he hears the bell. I can... can't make heads or tails out of his situation once he gets back though. This prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. I'll just chalk this guy up to... it takes all kinds. I better... I'll try and find it, the path to D99 cell. Is this not the path to his cell? It's right there, buddy! What did you expect? I literally used his behavior to get here. Hmm. A strange cell. The prisoner inside it seems to be enjoying himself. It's the last cell in this area, so that means the man humming to himself. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it, it, he was. Is prisoner D99, according to what the guard said. No, I know about this one, yeah. Sure is what, yeah, okay. D didn't need the flashback. What in the world really happened? Why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective. That's to find out the painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Say one of these are his, uh, his family. The one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of a hatred or some other emotion? Like uh, double hatred. It's even worse. It's twice as bad. Uh, uh, thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Fortunately, I can't read it. Probably about D99's case or a man who his wife or something like that. It's a picture of the alleged couple in the article. Yep, this is the prisoner, all right? So the work schedule for tomorrow's is... This is the work schedule, yeah! The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh, what could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners, but this board is clean as blank as the day it was hung there. How mysterious. So I have the answer Lim was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is nothing. What would this information mean to her? Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Trick time! I kind of think that was done, to be honest. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read even if one can't read. Fair enough. Prisoner D99's work schedule for 12. I mean, there was like a 10 minute period where I just achieved nothing. Uh, so, uh, I, I can imagine well, that's why you, you, there was no reason. Yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah. Uh, it's blank. The work code is blank. Uh, it's better, better get this information to lean as fast as I can. Ghosts! It's time to be. Oh, let me get there! D99! Dinner! Dinner! No, kill you! No! Go back to Hunter X Hunter! You've been banned! I ban you! Quite a feast tonight! Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. <gasps> it's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I say it's been about two hours since it was cooked. 
Judging by the way it feels. D99. I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? Agree. It's pointless to ask. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everyone, myself included. Detective Jout. Now then, <coughs> let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering with for a long time. What's that? Who's the man in that painting? Is it gonna be me? Is it gonna be? Is it, is it gonna be the main character? Oh, this! Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget phrases, you know? So I paint the phrases that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those phrases. <clears throat> it's me! Called it! Did, was, am I, are we the baddies? I am a hit, am, am I the leader of the hitmen? Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. That's my prediction. I'm one of the hitmen. We're the baddies, but we didn't know, you know, now we're, that we're dead. Since we've been told already that we can't come back to life, we'll find out that he's better off dead, if that makes any sense. Okay, sure, sorry to bother you. What in the world? I like that he's doing the same pose. What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn was investigating is painting a, a picture of me in his cell. Or, if we go another level, he's an undercover person working as a hitman. So we can have the hitman twist and then find out he was the worst hitman because he just joined and he was doing an undercover thing, maybe. I have to go see Lynn fast. And not for her sake, for mine to solve this mystery of me. Telephone doesn't connect to the outside. And I've got questions to ask Lynn. I've got to get to the place that has an external line and fast! <gasps> My god, how am I gonna do that? By golly, I've done it. Oh, I, uh, this is headquarters! What is the status over there? Oh, Chief, it, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. I need you not to be in the game very much. Evening. Cabanella here. How are you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? For my baby. Um, Lynn, uh, well, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Looks like she gives you a buzz. Be sure to let me know that right away. That's a good fellow. No, I went really creepy in there. I did not mean to do that. He might be creepy, but I didn't mean for him to sound creepy. I just want to be cool. <laughs> Try to cover it up, and uh, I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Sir, I'll call you right away, sir, immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive, after all. Sir. No, he's too. No, not cool. Carry on, then. I might pop in later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Face complete. But we're not going there. We're gonna see Lynn. 
Then she'll be heading for the kitchen chicken now. But the call from the police headquarters intrigues me too. Something pretty obvious right now. The white suited inspector suspects Lynn. She's being considered a fugitive, but this is not good. I wonder if I should check in on the chief and inspector in white too. Alright, we'll do that. I was trying to, because there's a thing going on. But, uh, it's fine. Uh, the, so, we don't have an E3, but there's a state of play happening in about a minute. But I'm going to finish this ghost trick first, because Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for a two. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What about the Special Investigation Unit 1 with Lynn? Their voices are inconsistent. I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights... But the Cabanello must be upset tonight too. Weren't he in prisoner D99? Jowd. Good friends. You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanello never came to visit him? He's head of the special special investigation. He's a very busy man. What's wrong? Jab was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Rotten away in a place like this. I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? It's a new side of you. Kind of endearing. Anyway, the, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It's, it's collapsed, you know? Ah! Obviously, we have to go to the new place first. Sounds weird about them. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh? Hey, Inspector Cabanella? We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but, sir, uh, we, we've had Point X surrounded it all night. If he shows up, we nab him. And we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with the other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No question about it. Thank you. I hate... <laughs> I officially hate having to do that guy's voice. She's a bad... I, I don't like doing this guy's words. She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. I wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? I know, it was pretty weird. She did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the copper who killed me. <clears throat> no way. Information added. I'll read that one next week. Whenever I do the next thing. Right. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Fade, I don't have the answers for your chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to leave believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape? The investigation unit just delivered her. I can't deny. If I ever need to be like a corporal. I don't know, I've got it covered. As long as I don't ever need my throat ever again. Some pretty solid evidence against her. <coughs> That's his cough. I'm doing it in code now. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. Ha! Huh. Why a murder case now? Such an important night. I think you had that wrong, Chief. No, he's not a cowboy, John. Murder case now, for the very reason that it is such an important night. Uh, okay, it's put, it's deliberately put everything out of reach. Although I can't face this. Before I go find Lynn at the kitchen chicken. Sounds like there's an important piece of info right here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence. He says, this I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have a bad feeling about what's on this tip? 
Because it's going to reveal that you're Hitman. The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Lies. I saw. Yeah, very sus, as the kids say. No, sus is, was a word that's always been around. Uh, uh, I saw myself shot right before my eye. No, there was a weird cut, and she clearly didn't want to shoot him. It's like I reckon she shot off to the side to create this illusion for some reason. But yeah, there is the the bad. The sisters is among us. Like. Just like the fungus. Uh, there, there goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looked so surprised on the tip. What in the world did I tell her? You told her to shoot to the side. You and you set up this pretend murder. You knew you were going to die. So, something like that. Because, like, they both have amnesia, which is going to be... So they've both forgotten that they had to set up this moment... For some reason. What in the world did I tell her? The truth is the truth. No matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Caminella. It wasn't me who played at the tip just now, baby. I mean, he calls everyone baby, that makes it likely, but that's weird. Oh, by the way, Inspector Caminella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. What's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I don't look at the photos of the crime scene at all, but... <coughs> the place where the victim was shot and where the body was found clearly different. Yeah, that's right. That is strange. Hit man in black was the, was the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he shouldn't have been out of the picture. But there I am. Down on... I don't know why I was talking that way. Yeah, yeah, he does. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. I messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs. It's very hard to alter. This is Point X coming, Chief. The Chief here! Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but. Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. If this is important, sir, somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. <clears throat> what? You see my baby? He still calls people baby, though, as well. Over there to you. 
heard she was on the, the lamb. On the lamb? Doesn't that mean like getting drunk? What do you want me to do, Chief? What did you say? What do you say, Inspector? <coughs> Ooh, ah, e. Detective. Get my baby away from Point X. Do it now, man. And then hold on to her. <coughs> yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief. But I'd say it wasn't a coinky dink. Perhaps. Huh. What happened? Detective, come in. Or has there been a prison escape? Now what? What's happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to point X. Allow me. The loon has shown up at point X, but I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? Well, one thing is clear, something big just happened. <clears throat> Wouldn't be surprised if somebody died. It is chicken kitten. What are you doing? I get to your bones over here. What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers to have their food and delivery delayed. Excuse me. But this is 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 this the chicken kitchen or is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? Sometimes, like, the accent is very weird. Police? Did something happen there? Need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like a, there's a nothing left here. I'm, I have to do this. I have to do the thing. I gotta go. Wait, what? What's going on? Something. That's what. Something's definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to Point X! Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's simply someplace else I gotta be. Inspector! <coughs> you being there isn't gonna change anything! Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility. I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. Prisoner D99 schedule. I've ruined my voice. Now for tomorrow I was blank. Seems like forever ago that I find that out. <coughs> now my mind is even blanker than that blank blackboard was. <coughs> Lynn, my only lead and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew the, where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. Point X the police have surrounded. And the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? I thought it might help. My it's with my throat. My apologies um, for a sudden, sudden gargling with no warning. Right, that was Ghost Trick. I, I don't know why this menu has no music. It's a bit weird, but um. 
I'm going to let you go. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. That I've been the John Strunk. I'm always the John Strunk, unless I'm someone else, like John Proxy or something. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I have an argument back and forth. Let's hide behind this. Uh, snail. See? No! Ah, oh, damn it! <clears throat> Let me try that one more time. Yes! I've been playing Ghost Trick, haven't I? Phantom Detective! Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can play this one more consistently. I shouldn't have taken a break, but... I, I'll, it, well, uh, it was more fun this week than it was last time. Farewell! <laughs>